My name is John Eckert. I'm at Baylor University, and I want to talk to you for just a couple minutes today about collective leadership. This is the concept that I'm most excited about, about what is going to improve schools in the current climate that we are in. So I wrote about collective leadership in 2018 in the book, Leading Together. And the way I define collective leadership is not by, based on position, personality type, or any kind of personal characteristics, but it is work done toward shared goals. In a school, that necessarily means you have teachers and administrators leading together. Now, in our research, we found that there are seven conditions necessary for collective leadership to really flourish in a school. Uh, the first, which you'll find in any leadership book, is there has to be a shared vision and strategy. Without this, it's very difficult to move forward. To have that, you need supportive administration. So supportive admin is necessary if you're going to have teachers leading alongside administrators. With that, you need resources. These are financial as well as human capital resources. You need people with the time and talent to be able to do the work. That They're not spread so thin that there's nothing more they can do. The last piece that we need is work design. And by last, I mean in these first four conditions, we call these our antecedent conditions, that everything builds from this. If we don't have this under control, nothing else really matters. So supportive administration, vision and strategy, resources and work design, we say are antecedent to the conditions that follow. And those conditions that follow are supportive relationships and good working norms. So without strong relationships, improvement's not gonna go very far. We see those relationships bearing themselves out in shared influence. Teachers and administrators leading together, seeing each other teach, working with each other towards student goals, but sharing that expertise, where expertise is allowed to spread in that school and beyond the school, that leads to a strong orientation toward improvement. Risk isn't just tolerated, it's expected, it's celebrated, and then reflected upon. So we're not making taking random risks, but we're taking risks that make a difference and we can see progress. So these seven conditions in these two boxes, again, we say the vision, supportive administration and resources, but along with work design influence these last three, they create development experiences where teachers and administrators grow together. These experiences are not single events. These are events that grow and improve over time based on the seven conditions that influence them. These conditions don't just stop at the development experience. In fact, they go far beyond the de development experience to catalyze the improvement that we want to see in schools. So that supportive administrator accelerates the work that comes out of development experiences. Those relationships, shared influence, and strong orientation toward improvement accelerate what we see as teachers grow and lead together. So that should improve both collective leadership capacity and collective leadership practice. Now, that's not where the model stops because we need to see that kind of practice bearing itself out in improved student outcomes. As we all know, Improvement doesn't really matter much if it does not positively impact student outcomes. That's our most important goal as educators. How do we create space for improved student outcomes? Now, the great thing about this model is that then feeds back in an iterative process into improved practice, improved development experiences, and it improves all seven of these leadership conditions. 
So it's not a linear process. It becomes an iterative improvement process where seven conditions, influence experiences, increased capacity, improved practice for improved student outcomes that then go back into the system and improve the conditions, experiences, capacity practices, and outcomes. We all know that we lead better when we lead collectively, that flourishing of leaders happens that leads to flourishing of students. For more information, feel free to reach out to me on Twitter. I'm at Eckert John. Or email me at my Baylor address, John underscore Eckert at Baylor.edu. Thanks for your time.